A big showdown is brewing between the Trump administration and Internet users in the United States. A plan has been hatched to deregulate inter Internet service providers in that country, essentially nixing the net neutrality requirement these companies must fulfill. But netizens are planning protests across the country to mount pressure on the regulator. Net neutrality is under threat yet again in the United States. The country's telecom regulator, the Federal Communications Commission, wants to scrap the Obama-era fair internet rules. Indeed, I remain firmly committed to net neutrality so we can keep the internet as it should be, open and free. At the middle of the row is FCC's Commissioner Ajit Pai. He has called for a vote to scrap existing net neutrality laws on December 14th. Pai feels the changes will not hamper the internet usage experience in any way. Some of these telcos could hold uh, could uh, hold streaming services like Netflix hostage by demanding more money from them. Do you worry about that? Well, I think the key word in your question is could. Uh, this is all entirely hypothetical. We have never seen that in the 20 years or so that the commercial Internet has existed. And going forward, we require transparency, as I said, to make sure that any practice like that would be disclosed. And we empower the Federal Trade Commission to take, to take action against any company, big or small, uh, that behaving in any competitive way or otherwise harming consumers. Ajit Pai's move has caused outreach across the United States. <laughs> Netizens are up in arms against the FCC. Protests are being planned. Several citizens have also written to the FCC demanding a rollback of this decision. Tech giants Google and Facebook have also voiced their concerns. Experts say Ajit Pai's defense is based on a flawed argument. The argument that Commissioner Pei has made is, well, what happened in the prior 20 years when we didn't have these regulations in place? And I think that the answer to that question is, well, in the twi prior 20 years, we didn't have nearly as much commerce. We didn't have the video streaming that we do today. And that because of that, we really don't have the history that he's pointing to to support the idea that deregulation is a good thing. Activists say they are ready to mount a legal challenge if the FCC votes to scrap net neutrality. But the body's chief does not seem concerned by the protests for now. Bureau Report, Vion. So what is net neutrality? The concept is quite simple. All data exchange in any form, whether it is text, images or video, must get equal treatment on the Internet. This basically means that the Internet service provider cannot discriminate or give preferential treatment to any content provider. In other words, they cannot speed up or slow down your Internet to prod you to sample some sites more than others. Changes to this principle will affect every Internet user in the United States. If American Internet service providers get the FCC's nod, that's the regulator, they will have to power, they will have rather the power to decide who fails or succeeds on the net. And this can play out in different ways. Service providers could charge you additionally to access specific websites or services, or they could even charge the companies to ensure steady and high-speed access to their content. And this would mean users will be charged more money by the telecom operators in one way or another. And new companies, especially startups, will not get a level playing field. So why is the U.S.? pushing for a change to net neutrality rules. The current Trump administration is seen as pro-deregularization, de especially Ajit Pai, who is the current chief of the FCC. Now, Pai had voted against the 2015 Open Internet Order. Before initiating the process to scrap net neutrality in the U.S., he closed an investigation into zero rating practices against three service providers. Zero rating is a practice by Internet service providers which allows users to access certain apps, without spending their monthly data limit. So what about net neutrality in India? India so far has taken a principled approach on this issue. Telecom regulator TRAI took a pro-net neutrality stand when Facebook and Airtel tried to introduce zero-rated services and plans by banning their rollout. Telecom regulators and operators now, during many consultations, have often pitched for anti-net neutrality practices, seeking a more liberal approach.